So here in this problem, you are asked to find rho, rho that means it is you are asked to calculate charge density, okay, charge density is given by rho v, okay, and then you are asked to calculate the total charge q. So you have to calculate these two values and what is given, given value is vector d, what is vector d, it is electric flux density, okay, so what is the equation collected? Connecting vector d, rho v, q, etc. That is the Gauss law, and according to Gauss law, del dot d is equal to rho v. Okay, so first you are taking the divergence del dot d, divergence of d, and this is having only z components, so it will be do d by do z. Okay, del dot d. As it does not have any raw component or phi component, you can directly take like this dou d by dou z. So, taking the derivative with respect to z, you get rho cos square phi. So, you got del dot d. So, this is the value of rho v. But you are asked to calculate the charge density at a value. So, you have to substitute rho equals 1, phi equals pi by 4 and z equals 3. But here there is no z. So, substitute for rho and phi that is 1 into cos square pi by 4. As you know, cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So, square you get 1 by 2. This will be 0.5 and unit will be charge density. That is coulomb per meter cube. This is the value. Now, to calculate Q. Q. To calculate charge, if you are given a line charge or charge density per unit length, you can take the line integral rho L D L. This is also equivalent to, if you are given the surface charge, it will be rho s ds. Similarly, if you are given the volume um, charge density, it will be rho v dv. All these you can use based on the value you have, rho l dl or rho s, surface integral of rho s ds or volume integral of rho v dv. So, this is the volume charge density. So, you have to calculate volume integral of rho v to get the total charge q. So, here it is rho cos square phi d rho and instead of d phi you write rho d phi. I told in the earlier class instead of d phi you write rho d phi because d phi corresponds to a change in the angle only. So, rho d phi into d z. So, this can be modified as rho square cos phi d rho d phi d z and what are the limits rho varying from 0 to 1 because radius is given as 1 so 0 to 1 phi varying from 0 to 2 pi and z is varying from it has given minus 2 to 2 z will vary from minus 2 to 2. So, I have explained the limits rho varying from 0 to 1 because radius is 1, phi it is the whole angle so 0 to 2 pi unless specified phi will be 0 to 2 pi and then z value they have given minus 2 to plus 2. So, when you apply the limits you will get the answer. The final answer you will get will be 4 by 3 pi coulombs. This will be the final answer.